What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Technique Daily. We're staying with the sled. I got a cool series of things I've been showing you guys. Today, some dude decides to run, I don't know, a chainsaw up the street while I'm trying to do Technique Dailies. Come on, man! Anyway, right? Today, we're gonna go over Y's, T's, and arrows with the sled. Now, one of the most humbling Technique Dailies, I know you tried it, the Y's, T's, and presses with eight pounds kicked your ass, but I'm gonna show you how you do it on the sled. So, if you have a longer strap, we're just using 25 pounds, basically you'll just go through the same form. You'll, you'll take a step back, force it with your arrow. Take a step back, force it with a T. Take a step back, force it with a Y. And literally just alternate them, and you can go a little heavier. I'm sandbagging, Jake, I'm sandbagging, it's too easy. So. What it does is it just adds some really good stability to your shoulders and creates another way that you can utilize this piece of equipment. I can't urge you enough of how much a sled can pay dividends to your training. It doesn't matter whether you're a bodybuilder, Olympic lifter, crossfitter, power lifter, the amount of work that you can put in and how creative you can be with this, this piece of equipment is awesome. Uh, once again, hook up a tire to a rope and let's go out in your yard and get it done. So, this is uh, you know, another variable of the sled. I'm gonna keep bringing you more options like this because I enjoy getting outside and doing some stuff like this. So this is Y's, T's, and arrows with the sled. You're watching Technique Daily, and for all your submit needs, you better go to maxeffermuscle.com.